Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and a video on Tecla Structural Designer. So this video is for all new viewers who have bumped into our channel to watch uh, something about the tutorial on Tecla Structural Designer. After watching this video, you can also subscribe to our channel and the various videos on the Tecla Structural Designer software. So in this video, we are going to complete the process of the design as per the IS code so let's get started first of all we'll have the requirements here this is the requirement for the building this is G plus 3 building floor to floor height 10 feet 6 inch and the other details are also given here so right now we are going to just design the model in the Tecla structure designer so before starting let me also tell you about the recorded session Tecla group which Currently, we have 26 participants here and in here students ask various doubts regarding the Tecla Structural Designer software and whatever they ask, they are given the solution to it. Some of them have given brilliant uh, questions in which we have made videos. So this is a community. This is our Tecla family in which there are uh, various people connected with us asking their doubts so if you want to join this you can do so using the number which has been given below you can whatsapp or drop a call and connect with us and become a part of our tecla family at a very nominal price so now we'll get started so first of all we'll go and create a new file here so after the new file has been created we'll go to model and then construction levels and then we'll create the level for g plus 3 so let's insert level below of let's say minus 1.2 meter and then we'll insert some levels above it and we'll give it spacing of 3.2 that is the for the 10 feet 6 inch height and this will do as let's say ssl slab thickness will give a slab thickness of 100 here just type 100 mm and then this is our ground floor and as per the requirements as you can see here we'll have g plus 3 so g plus 3 building so we'll have 1 2 3 so g plus 3 building and then click on ok so after clicking on ok we have our construction levels defined so after that we can import our dxf file which we have created we can go to this and here we can click on import dxf and here we'll just click on the center line so first of all we'll just import the center line which we want and as an architectural grid the unit will be mm which we had selected by layer and then we'll just select this in all the levels here and then click on finish and after that you can just click on escape if your grid lines are not showing properly you can change the color of it let's give it a black color so after that you can go back and you can import uh, your particular DXF file once again but this time as a shadow we'll just untick the center line shadow you give the unit as mm then finish this is our plinth level we have to zoom in a bit now as you can see this is our DXF file which we have imported So we'll just click on open here and first of all we need the particular center line only and then artificial grids unit mm do next by layer select all the levels which we have created and then click on finish zoom in and then you will check the particular grids so select the grids if our grids are not visible just give them a particular color which is visible i'll give them black here now you can go to import dxf once again select your dxf file and then you will just untick the center line and everything else will import as a shadow the unit will be mm just click on finish we have made a lot of videos on how to create the dxf file and how to create the center line diagram so you can watch those refer to those videos so now we can define our columns this is our plinth level we'll take our columns here and after taking our columns we'll define a size for our columns let's give a size of let's say 250 to 250 to start with 
and thin we'll give a m20 grade and fp 500 steel we'll take we'll just do this untick this automatic alignment and then save it as 250 cross 250 okay and then we'll just assign our columns in all the designated places which you want the staircase four columns for the staircase here and here here also here also here 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 so we have assigned our columns now you can check it in 3d view the columns will go back to the structure base here take the beams and after taking the beams will okay one column we have missed this one we'll just assign this particular column now we'll only connect the primary beams secondary beams will do a design later this is just for your demonstration so we'll just take the beams here and take a beam of size 250 to 250 for this 250 to 250 okay and then uh, the size will be fp 500 fp 500 and save this as 250 cross 250 and then ok so we'll just name this as B250 cross 250 and then click on ok and after that we'll join all the particular beams first of all this line let me join this line this one this one this is a line So you can check the model here now after this you can simply join this particular line this one and this one now for this you can make a secondary beam here because it will require and here also we can make some secondary beams and let's join this one also from this column to here so after this we can just double click on this and change the properties of this particular releases and as you can see will this side we have column so this is the zero end or fix end one and this is fix end two fix end two will do this pin click on ok and for this this is end one and this is end two so it is going from bottom to top so here the end one will be your pin and two will be fix so let double click on it releases and one will be your pin and to fix okay here also as you can see we have no columns here so both end will be pin so here we are doing this double clicking this releases both end let's do this as pin okay so here also let's here also we'll just give take the beams here take beef 250 to 250 here we'll connect the beams this is the primary beam here also we'll take the beam here b250 to 250 here we'll assigning the beams so we've assigned all the primary beams and some secondary beams as well and after that we'll just check the structure in the 3d view so this is your structure you can validate the model whether you have any intersection errors or not so we are good with this and now we can uh, simply copy this particular uh, all these slab items sorry the beam items to the next level we'll go to the construction levels we'll do this as base and then click on ok and after that quickly go to the construction levels once again do this as unique so after that we want to select all these beams here all the beam are selected and now we can change the properties of this to 250 to 300 since the load will be more here let's give it more size and after this we can go to the particular floor go to structure levels and the structure one apart from the staircase just put the slab take the slab items and just for assigning your loads just sparing this portion we'll just apply the slab items in all the particular zones so after applying the slab items we'll go to the structure and then we'll just go to the construction levels and then we'll make this 
all the other levels as one so that we can copy it so as you can see the modeling has been completed in such a short time we we'll go to monstration levels once again we'll make this all as unique so after making all this as unique we'll just start the loading part so we'll go to the structure base now for the 10 inch wall so the external walls will go for the 11 kilo newton per meter and let's do it load select the dead load from here and take the full UDL take a dead load of 11 kN per meter and apply it for all the external walls in the staircase all the four walls will be the 10 inch wall so we have selected this and after that for the internal walls let's go for the 5.5 kN per meter you can calculate it we also have made a video on how to calculate this if you want that link you can comment below and get that so after that you can check this in the 3d view of this particular level as you can see the loads you can see the magnitude of the loads as well and now make this back as 2d and check in the structure 3d view just turn on the dead load so dead loads have been applied so let's apply the load on the next level so going to structure one taking your dead load and then we'll just go take full udl here 11 kN. Uh, let's apply this 11 kN load to the external walls and the staircase so after applying this the internal loads will apply 5.5 to all the items here so after applying that we will take imposed loads as you know for the residential as per IS 875 part 2 the imposed loads yield is 2 kN per meter square so we'll take imposed here level loads here and here we'll take 2 kN per meter square so after this has been taken we can go to the structure 3d and we can check for the imposed loads as you can see the imposed loads have been applied now we'll go to the model and copy the dead and the imposed load to the other levels here with this is a particular one and we'll do all the source as one and as you can see these two levels we have copied this level will have the terrace load so we will apply different loads here but before that we will use this two as unique and after that we can apply the loads in the terrace portion so in the terrace portion let's go to the terrace portion structure 4 and in the terrace portion we will apply dead load let's select dead here and then load full UDL 11 kN per meter will be applied in the staircase part because it will have the head room above it and for the remaining let will dead load of 2 kN per meter along the parapet walls so after applying this load we will just take an imposed load of put level load and imposed load of 2 kN per meter square so after this has been applied we will just go to validate option to check the validation and now you can go to the loading part and you can generate some wind panels before that we'll say, uh, select to this model part and we'll generate some wind panel we'll select the wall panels part and then we'll select some wind panels carefully starting from the plinth level and we're applying the wind panels here So you need to apply them carefully the last point you need to double click as you can see single click single click single click and the last point just select the point carefully you can rotate using the right point right cursor of your mouse and just after you find the particular suitable point you can simply double click on it so like this you can make the wind panels So after make the wind panels make sure to validate and check whether everything is okay or not then you can go to the particular loading part wind wizard and create the wind wizard as per your code so i'm not considering our topography here uh, the wind be my base level is zero that is the plane level i've taken is zero so this is okay basic wind speed will give us 50 meter per second for the particular zone fetch distance 
that is the distance in which uh, the wind stays similar you press 5 and then click on finish after that we will insert 4 load cases in 4 directions 0, 90, 180 and 270 after we have done that click on ok and then we will go to seismic load click on seismic wizard and we will seismic load as per IS code or IS 1893 we will just click on next ignore seismic below the base and the type of soil and the importance factor for residential is 1 this you can take and you can use the model response spectrum analysis and then you can just take RC moment resisting frame without any masonry infills the type of the structure normal structures moment frame systems is the type of the structure which you are designing take the dead load and the live load considerations and then click on next and then click on finish and then we will generate some combinations due to the seismic load select operating here next we have selected all the limit state uh, load conditions you can select as per your preference and then click on finish and after, then after that you can just go to this combination load and after that you can generate some load combinations next generate your desired load combinations with this here we are taking for the limit state we are not worried about the working stress combinations next next finish and then click on ok so after you click on ok you can go to design and then click on design all static to know about the design So now as you can see some of the elements have failed but our process is right now we can, we can change the dimensions of those and make the elements pass. So here if you can check uh, the back side columns here let's make them as you can see this is ratio is 1.03, 1.36, 1.44 1 and 1 1.18 so we need to increase the dimensions if we can check the particular orientation of it let's increase the dimension of this side so we'll do this particular size as let's take a next size of 300 into 250 it will do here and here let's take this size of 300 into 250 for this one also you can just take the size of 300 into 250 for this one also and for this one this one also let's take a similar size and this one also will take the same size of 300 into 250 and after that we will select the four columns which we are we have changed and right click on it and then design selection static now as you can see two columns are, have failed so we can give the next section for it so this as you can see let's take the design of this whether this is steel design is economical or not as you can check here 416 so we are 616 below and 416 at the top we are okay with that here let's go with change this size into 350 and then check and then you can right click on it design selection static so now as you can see this are these have passed and you can right click on it and then you can just click on design selection to check, check the reinforcement whether there is an economical or not it's for 616 and we are good with this 616 at the top so now for these columns also we will just select all these columns and do this as your 300 into 250 this after doing this and we will just right click on it and then click on design member or design selection static after that you can check here so this is as you can see this column let's check this design member static this is ok but in the bottom portion it's failing so we'll check that and we can increase the size of the bottom portion uh, particularly if you want we'll show that how to do that so here also let's give this to a size of 
will increase along this so let, let's give this a size of 300 into 250 here and for this these two columns we can give these two columns a size of to 300 so here after doing this let's give this check design all static so after that some columns have passed as you can see here by a variable good margin and you can check if you just check this 250 column and then design this 416 it's passing so it's good with this and for this one this particular column will need a larger section of it this size will give this as 375 and this one also will give this as 350 this one also will give this as 350 and then we will just select this 3 and then do this as a design selection static so now this 3 are ok let's check the reinforcement of it 616 here we have reinforcement of As you can see 616 so we are okay with this only two this this two columns 1.26 and 1.2 so 350 and this 350 will give the next size to it let's give this as 375 and check otherwise we'll give more and then check whether now it's passing or not So both are passing now 0.948 and 0.914 so this is an economical design let's check the reinforcement so this is 16 six, six, six bars of 69 so we are good with this so let's check the one of the beams here this beam and then we can have an idea of uh, all the beams here what are the reinforcement used in the beams 20 mm and 12 mm reinforcement so this is good to go now we have designed our particular model in the tecla structure designer software now if you want you can also go to the foundations and then go to pad base column and then simply select the pad basis and then click on design pad basis to design the foundations After that you can check that the foundation has been designed. So friends the complete model part in the Tecla Structural Designer has been completed. For more such videos stay tuned to our channel and also stay connected with us. Keep learning. Bye bye.